sorry, so sorry for uh, the cut off. We needed to fix some things, you know. Uh, woman of influence, I believe in S7, so we needed to fix some things. So thank you so much um, for joining me uh, today. Today's show, we're going to look at, you know, the stay home has kind of become a, a, a hell to some people because um, it's in the news that uh, domestic violence is going up and I'm thinking what is going on here and it's it, you know we we are living in a very uh, interesting season I'm not saying that all things are well I'm not saying that everything is good but I know that we still serve a God who is an awesome God and who will surely surely bring you and me out here so please, we're going to talk about that and see how much we can help each other, you know, to um, help with the situation that's going on around us. So thank you so much for joining me. Please share the video with somebody, tag somebody to come in. I want it to be a show that you and me are in this thing together. So we have to do it together. We have to um, share it with somebody, tag somebody to come in. Uh, let it be a blessing to somebody. So if you are in the group, just share with there. I think I think this is what is going on now. And I, I know that um, the disease is somewhere. Uh, but guess what? This thing is even becoming more. You know, it's becoming more, which is really not good for all of us. So I want us to discuss this together. I want us to share it together. So please uh, talk somebody to come in and uh, good morning uh, good afternoon wherever you are uh, yeah good afternoon my lovely uh, sister Becky how are you I hope you are keeping safe uh, Ghana is doing an awesome job though yesterday uh, it was um, the five uh, 15 countries that are really doing well in the, in this disease time is uh, Ghana was in this so I was so proud of my own uh, uh, country doing very well with this but we are praying and trusting god that this thing is going to be over and it's going to be over soon so thank you so much for joining me please share the video with somebody we are talking about how uh domestic violence is increasing and what can we do what can we do we are all stressed we are all don't know what's going on uh we don't have any plans and uh, we are putting plans uh, on hold and a lot of things are going on. People are losing their jobs, um, homes that the man was working and uh, wife was working. Now sometimes it's one income. So I'm not really saying that um, all is well. I know that so many difficulty things are happening all around us, but I know that God is in charge and God is in control. So please, uh, let's discuss it. Let's share the video with somebody. Tag somebody to come in. And I think it's, it's going to be a blessing to them. But thank you so much for joining me. So I, I read in Charisma uh, today. And, uh, let's hear what Charisma have to say about this thing. Um, it says that when um, staying at home isn't safe. Okay, so we are supposed to stay at home, but when staying at home is not safe because there's a new surge on domestic violence, okay? Uh, thousands across America and actually everywhere in, in the world now, uh, they stay in place that our governors and our mayors and all those things put on us, you know, okay? For us to stay in place, so at least we will be able to uh, let this disease go down, you know, and not spread. It's causing a lot of stress in the home. It's causing a lot of things uh, at home. And instead of home being safe, you know, for our children, for women and men, it's now becoming like a, a busting ring, you know. So what, what can we do? What, what can we do? Okay, so it has become like staying in hell. You know, and the, the best place you can be around this time is home. You know, and, and home cannot be home when there is no peace. Home cannot be home when there is no love. Home can surely not be home when uh, things are very, very difficult and you're afraid of a place that you have to be safe. You know, so what's going on? But guess what? 
What is going on is because of the uh, economy distress. Everybody is feeling this. Everybody is feeling this. There is an economy distress everywhere. Okay, and it's which is sending men and women to the edge. It's sending us to be angry. Okay, to be angry. And guess what? Who? I mean, the, the thing is everywhere. And people are angry and you ask yourself, who are you angry at? Okay, who are you angry at? But if we don't put, if we don't take care, it will make us angry. Can you imagine you wake up in the morning and you go to your bank account and instead of your saving increasing, it's going down, you don't take care, it makes you angry. Okay, so people are very angry. People are fearful. People are afraid. I mean, after the, the fear, we, we can stay here. People are afraid, okay? And I've been saying throughout this uh, situation that we find ourselves in, that you see, the reason why sometimes we are afraid is because when we, we feel like we are losing control, because each one of us really want to be in control. We, I mean, I want to be in control. I want to be in control of someone is coming. What can I do for my family? What break can we have? What vacation can we have? What can we go? What can we do? So if we are not in control with all those things, because you don't even know if you plan something in July, I mean, we are trusting God, everything will become normal, but things are really going to take a while. And we are losing control. So people are afraid. People are afraid that how can they take care of their family? I mean, I have, we have five, okay? So me, my husband, and three children. And this is life. And then I know as a man, there is a pressure on him. Can he sustain us? You know, so there, there is a lot of uh, things going on in people's mind. And I'm telling you, I, I, you know, as a mother, I'm thinking my firstborn is going to college. And I'm thinking, what can we do? I'm, 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 I'm also thinking, you know, can we sustain our home? Can this and that? So I know that all those things is coming. I'm not sitting here trying to, to paint a picture and see all is work. I know that all is not work. But in our weakness, in our overwhelming situation, I think that's what God uh, showed himself strong on our behalf. Okay? So it's going to be work. It's, it's really, really going to be work. Our God is able. He is able. And he surely will surely, will surely going to be one. Okay, it's going to be one. So that, that is um, what is going on. So there's anger, there's fear. People are anxious. Okay, <laughs> people are anxious. I mean, people pressure is really going up here. You know, pressure is going up and, and it's serious. And oh my God, this is another aspect. Depression. So depression is really going high. People are depressed because I know sometimes we want to stay home, okay? But now the staying home is not just because you want to stay home. The staying home is because we don't have any option, <laughs> okay? So you and me don't have any option. We are staying home, okay? And it's, it's, it's depressing. And people who have a little bit, you know, depressing here and there is even getting worse. You know, it's, it's really even getting getting worse here. So it's, it's, it's not, it's, it's having really, you know, okay, be, be easy on all of us. Okay, it having been easy on all of us. But guess what? God is able. He's able. He, he's surely, surely able. And he will uh, bring us through. He will see us through. And there is nothing too difficult uh, for him to do. Okay, for him to do. He is really able. So there's nothing too difficult for him to do. Okay, so uh, our God is able. He's is really, really able. And he will see us through. Okay, so thank you so much. Please continue to share the video with somebody. Talk to somebody, you know, uh, to come in. And let it be a blessing to, to somebody. So there, there's a lot of depression going on. There's a lot of rage because we... We don't have things, you know, together, and it's very, very sad. And what I read 
in charisma actually today say that for the first time in more than 40 years okay so for the first and more than 40 years offices at the largest women's shelter have stated that they cannot accept any person they cannot accept any woman or children again why because they are full they are so packed the place is so packed that people are running from home to go and live in a shelter women and and men because some homes even the women are abusive too so this is not really like just men okay so men are running and, and going to shelters women are running to go into shelters children and and everybody is running because home is not safe and and this article is saying that for the for 40 years they've never seen the place so packed and they've never seen such an overwhelming you know people coming because they are not safe home okay so this is what is going on and when i read this article i'm like god please help us god please please help us God help us and we are praying that God will help us because I'm telling you it's, it's, it's just a, a very terrible, just sad and overwhelming you know situation that we all find ourselves in. This is not just about one person you know feeling this. This, this is straight to the whole world, the whole group, the four corners of this group everybody is feeling it so it's really really not an easy thing here okay but at the end of the day god is able god is able so these people are saying that they cannot okay so um i don't know but i it's it's it's, it's just let's pray god god <laughs> god is in charge God is in charge. Okay, God is in charge and He is able. He is able. I, I don't know. I can't promise you. I, I can't say, you know, we wake up in the morning and all, all the things that for the past three months we've been going through, all of a sudden everything is blooming and all of a sudden everything is here and everything is normal. I, I, I can't promise that, but there's one thing I can promise. That God is able. God is able. And the Bible says that He stood on nothing and created all this world that we find ourselves in, that we live in, that we are enjoying. So if He can create this whole world, you know, in, in six days and the seventh day He rested, He's able to turn things around for us. He's able to turn things around for us. So please, you know, let's hold on. Let's let's hold on. Let's hold on. <laughs> Let, let's hold on. He he is really able. He's really able and he, he will turn things around for us. Okay. So what can we do? What can we do to to move forward? What can we do to not to look at what is in front of us? Okay. And what is eating us up and to move forward this fear. What can we do to move beyond? beyond this overwhelming situation what can we do to move beyond this this crisis that we think that our world have ended our world haven't ended so what can we do thank you so much for watching thank you for watching from all over the world i could see all of you i'm so so grateful god bless you so much you know for uh for tuning in today and for watching i'm so so grateful god bless you god bless you watching from india watching from ghana watching from Europe, watching uh, from America here, watching from all over. Oh, what a blessing. Thank you. Thank you so much. So what can we do to turn things around? What can we do to turn things around? And that's what I want us to really concentrate on because sometimes it's not, it's, it's, we, it's not what is going on. It's what can we do? You know, what can we do? So thank you so, so much for uh, 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 tuning in. Um, but I think the best thing that we can do to move beyond this crisis and all that is happening is to, is to be just hopeful. We need to be hopeful. We need to be hopeful. All is not, you know, all is not lost. All is not lost. So we need to be very hopeful, knowing that 
tomorrow will be better than today. Tomorrow will be better than today. So when you wake up in the morning and you are so overwhelmed and you feel like, you know, it's not even worth living because you, you, you cannot turn things around. I want you to know, be hopeful, be hopeful, be hopeful that our God will turn things around for you and me. He will turn things around. God is able to turn things around. So be hopeful, okay? I want us to read Isaiah um, 26 verse 3. Let's read Isaiah 26 verse 3. Let's go to Isaiah, the book of Isaiah, and let's read it because at the end of the day, that's all that we can go. We have to go back to the word of God and see what God has said. Okay, so the book of Isaiah 26 verse 3, it says that you will keep him in perfect peace. Those minds stay on you. And the you there is God. So let me put it this way. God will keep you and me in perfect peace. Perfect peace. You see, sometimes when we talk about peace, People think that peace is when everything is is okay, everything is working, and everything is is calm. And you know, you have money in your account. Your children are doing well in school. Your husband is treating you very well. Everything is good. I mean, you are not stressed. You, you are not afraid. And everything is good. Actually, sometimes peace is not like that. Peace is when things are are overwhelmed. And when things are not working, and when everything is like that, like the world is going to end, but still you have that still, you know, stillness in you that it will be well. This will pass. This thing to pass. It, tomorrow is going to be better than today. You have that confidence that tomorrow is going to be better than today. I mean, that's what, that kind of my <laughs> definition of peace. Because if everything is calm, that, I mean, what is peace? When things are not working, but you are still. The Bible says that be still and know the salvation of God. If things, if you are not still, you cannot even see what is going on, okay? So, I mean, I know that maybe a mother is watching and the men will not understand this, but the, the women will understand it better. I have three children okay and i think my second and my third one i took um the uh what did they call it the, the, the that strong painkiller uh that they give to you to numb you so you can really push so uh epidur epidura yes that's it thank god I, I remember epidura so i took epidura for my two okay and when they're giving you when they have to uh, give you the epidural, the nurses will tell you to be still because what they do is they go through your spine at your back to put the epidural there and when they are giving it to you when they are ministering the epidural to you and you shake yourself you can you can break your back I mean you your spinal cord can can break or something, something serious can break, can happen that you will not be able to walk again. So when you are taking epidural, they tell you to be still. So this is you being in pain. This is you being in labor. And you know, labor pain is one of the craziest thing in the world. And they still asking you to be still. So as a woman watching me right now, you are in pain, you are in crisis, you are in labor pain, but the word of God is telling you to still be still. So in your stillness is when you can see what God can do. In your stillness is when you will know who God is. In your stillness is when the power of God and the hand of God can move your situation. If you are not still, you cannot see what God is doing. If you are not still, you cannot experience who God is. So, be still in your labor pain for you to be able to get epidural. That's what sometimes peace is described as. That when things 
when pain is so real, when you are in labor, I mean, let's let's say that our our world, it, the pain is like a labor pain, and God is telling us to be so. So the Bible says that God will keep you and me in perfect peace. Those who mind are stay on God, okay, because we trust in Him. We trust in Him. We trust in Him. So He, God, will will put us in perfect peace if our mind so you see what we have to let our mind stay on god if our mind is stay on him then god will put us in perfect peace god will put us in perfect peace what an awesome what an awesome thing okay and and i'm telling you our mind will tell us that things are not going to be normal again. Our mind will tell us that this is how life is going to be. But the Bible says that if our mind is stay on God, then God in turn will put us in perfect peace. Please, if you have any um, comment about what is going on, domestic um, violence is increasing because we are angry we are afraid we are anxious we are depressed there's a lot of rage why because we are seeing what is going on now and it's pushing us to be angry it's pushing us to be depressed it's pushing us to to the edge of our life so if you have any um comment that you think that the, the viewers it will help somebody you know who maybe is going through this to know that God is able, please is welcome. Bring your comment. I want to do the show with you, so bring your comment here. Okay. So what we have to do is when we start our days, when we start, you know, when you wake up in the morning and you start your day. When you wake up in the morning, you are so overwhelmed. When you wake up in the morning, you feel like, oh my God, even yesterday was better than today. When you wake up in the morning and you don't know what to do. You don't know what to do. I want you to start your day with faith and hope in God. Just start your morning. Don't start your morning on CNN. Okay, don't start your morning with those news. I know they have to do their work, but let's start our morning. Let's start our day with hope and faith in God. Start your day with hope and faith in God. And you have to remember, let me tell you this. You have to remember. Tough times don't come to destroy you. Okay? Tough times don't come to destroy you. It comes to reveal, you know, who you are. Who you really are. So this is the time for your refining you, refining uh, grace, refining uh, um, faith and hope that you, you have put you know this is the time for it to come out okay so when you when you wake up and you are so overwhelming you know go to your faith go to your faith this is not the time to to give up on faith this is not the time to give up on hope this is not the time to, to for you to say you know the word of god say but no this is not the time to do that this is the time to go to your faith Go to your faith. Move by your faith. Act by your faith. Anything pushing you to do anything that is not going to give glory to God. I mean, knocking your children's head, knocking your wife's head and all those things is, is not going to give glory to God. So if you feel so stressed and you think like things are not going to change, just hold on. Hold on to your faith. Hold on to your faith. Hold on to hope in God. God will bring us through here. God will bring us through. God will bring us through. Okay, so, I mean, just just start your day. Okay, start your day with, with the word of God. Start your day with your the faith. Your faith in God. Start your, your day with hope in God. It's, it's really help you to, to know that God is able okay so please let your comments come let your uh comments come my husband is going to help me to read some of the comments um 
that that um, will be coming so we can do the show together if you have any comment that you think that it will help somebody you know go to what is going on any uh, the word of God that you have read that have really you know help you just just share it okay I read um, some 26 verse uh, 16 last week and that thing haven't left my spirit it's having left me it has been a blessing to me okay it has been a blessing to me that when when you trust in God you will not be moved because you know that God is with you you will not be moved and for me if I'm not moving it means I am you know I, I, I know I have that solid foundation with Christ he's the solid foundation that will not be moved so I'm not moved by what I see. I'm not moved by what I'm hearing. I'm not moved about the situation. Why? Because I have put my 100% hope in God that he will bring me through. So these are some of the things that I think when you share to bless, to bless somebody. So if you have any comment, just uh, share it. It will really be a blessing to somebody. Thank you so, so, so much. Okay. So for us to really overcome this violent thing going on here i think the first thing is we really have to start our days with faith in god hope in god knowing that tough time that didn't come to destroy us tough time come to build us up it come to show us who we really are okay so don't say that oh because i'm stressed because i'm not working uh because i am not doing this that's why I i'm stressed that's why i'm knocking my child head that's why i'm knocking my wife head and uh you know no 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 just be the man of god that god has called you to be you are supposed to influence you are supposed to impact you are supposed to do make a difference in people's life and your home is where you start from so you cannot let this situation push you to be who you are not please don't let the, the enemy use this as an opportunity to push you to be who God having called you to be. Be the man of faith. Be the man of hope. Be the woman of faith. Be the woman of hope that our God will see us through. We will come out of this thing together. Stronger than we went down. Bigger than we went down. We will come out. God is able. We will come out. Okay. I want us to read uh, Philippians chapter 4 verse 4. Let's read uh the book of philippians um four verse four man of god any comments there any comments no no comments there no. four verse four okay so philippians four verse four it says i rejoice in the lord always oh my god rejoice in the lord always even in this uh, circumstance in this situation in this season that we find ourselves in, the Bible is saying that rejoice in the Lord always. I don't know how we are going to do it, but the Bible is saying that rejoice. Rejoice means rejoice. And always means always. Not in the morning, not in the afternoon. It's always. So when I see you in the evening, you are rejoicing. When I see you in the afternoon, you, you are happy. When I see you, you are rejoicing. Because guess what? The, 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 the joy of the Lord is our strength. The joy of the Lord is our strength. So he says that rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. So let's rejoice. You, okay, let's rejoice. When, when there's joy in your heart, it comes down depression. When there's joy in your heart, it brings down stress. When there's a joy in your heart, it makes you, the anger go down a little bit. When there's a joy in your heart, you become happy okay so let's exercise joy let's exercise joy rejoice always and again i say rejoice okay again i say rejoice all right okay any comments uh yes um prophet says prophet says anger is the root of abuse what is the spirit behind anger what is the spirit behind anger anger it's it's i mean the spirit behind Behind anger is, is the enemy, okay? Because what what makes us angry is it's emotional. You know, anger is part of our emotions, okay? That's why even the Bible says that be angry but sin not, okay? So 
Um, you, you can be angry about you losing your job. You can be angry about things not going the way it's, you want it to go. We are in a new year and, and none of us uh, sat down and planned this thing. Actually, none of that even saw it coming. Okay, so you can be angry, but what will make it sing is when you start hitting. Okay, so what with the, the topic that we are dealing with, uh, domestic violence going up, people are angry, and what is making them angry is because of the situation that, that we find ourselves in. And instead of directing that anger in a, a nice and a, a, a nice way, we are just hating each other. Okay, we are hitting each other, and hitting each other is what become a sin here. Okay, so I mean, if if you wake up and you are so angry, just go for a walk. Okay, there's beautiful, beautiful parks that at least the, the parks are not shut down. Okay, and you know, for for almost like a month or two now, I've been uh, going for walk with my husband. Okay, uh, in the mornings and and sometimes this beautiful park and you don't see a lot of people that I was expecting to see some group of people. You don't really see. You see some group of people really working hard and some group of people you don't see them at all. Okay, so I mean find a way of the distressing yourself. The Bible says that and David encouraged himself. Okay, so this is the time for you to really encourage yourself. Go for a walk, okay? If things are heating up in the house and it's going to lead you to sing, go for a walk, okay? Go and stand in the air and, and do some boxing in the air. But don't box your wife. Don't <laughs> box your husband. That make it a sin. So I think the spirit behind anger is really uh, the enemy who can push you to do what you are not supposed to do. All right. Uh, another, uh, yeah, uh, Minister Lisa says, uh, speaking as a believer, this is what she is doing. Okay. So number one, pray to meditate on the word. Three, keep encouraging yourself that you are not in this alone. Mm. Uh, four, worship. Uh, five, speak to someone that is at a higher spiritual level than you. Oh. Don't suffer in silence. Wow. Six, Take it one day at a time. I love that. God is on your side. Mm, I love that. Oh, love uh, Jenny says she takes Epidora. Uh, hey, Jenny. <laughs> <laughs> what, Jenny, why do you want to take Epidora? <laughs> Jenny, you take Epidora. Tell her to come you, back again and explain herself. You, you come back and explain where do you get the epidural from? But uh, uh, anyway, you, I'm praying for you. This, this year, you'll be pregnant, then you know what I'm talking about. You know, but uh, I love, I love um, 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 Minister Lisa, you know, point, especially they take it, you know, one day at a time. I'm telling you, that is, that is where I have positioned myself. Because if I look at, you know, I mean, like last year around this time and all the things that I was doing and all the things, you know, and everything in place and everything. And I look at it now. I'm telling you, if you don't take care, you will go to be depressed. But what you do is you take it a day at a time and you go into the word of God. Take a word that God will minister through the spirit of God to you and walk with it and make sure that you are meditating upon it because you see the bible says that god will keep in perfect peace who mind is stay if your mind is stay on god and his word your mind will not take you back to what is working and what is not working your mind will not let you compare your 2019 to your 2020 God is a, a, a God is a progressive God. He always go forward, and I believe that 2020 is still going to be the best year than 2019. I think uh, my own bishop Oyedepo says that you cannot have a better last year, and I believe in that way. 
we cannot have a better last year. We will have the better of this year. But guess what? If our mind is not stay on God's word, if our mind is not stay on God's word, and who God is, and if we are not meditating on it for the way to work inside us, inside our emotion. You see, anger is emotion. Work with your emotion to, to deal with the anger and the rage and depression that we're going on. That's what is making this thing increasing. So you know what? Take it a day at a time. Just take it easy. Take it a day at a time. You wake up in the morning, I wake up in the morning, I stretch myself, I say, thank you, Jesus, for a new day. I know today is going to be better than yesterday. And I take it a day at a time. I'm not going to stress myself about tomorrow because you know why? I have a great God who says that his plans for me are not just even for today. They are for the future tomorrow. And they are good and awesome plans. Why should I sit here with my small mind and trying to figure how God is going to do it? So I just stay put and trust in him that he will do it. He will do it. So let's take it one day at a time. I love that. I love that. Let's take it one day at a time. Any more comments? Any yes. Mom Barbara says, mm. uh, no, this is Barbara that, that, Collins. Yes. As she said, God is revealing many things during this season. Ah. Domestic violence is real. Mm. One must deal with the trouble soul. Yeah. The soul must be healed. Yeah. Said, it is difficult to hear God's voice when you are hurting mm. and your soul is troubled. Pray for deliverance. Yes, that, that's why we Now, pray. but I have a question. Was there a real, a real um, issues, underlining issues? before the shutdown because yes. why should a husband and wife who were okay doing well and then suddenly they start um fighting one another and hurting and hitting one another was there an issue there there is sweetie i think that there is because you see um if there is no issue, I mean, I mean, we are a couple here, so we we can talk about our own self. Um, if you have noticed, I've been teasing you more now than you used to tease me when when all is well. Now I tease you more, okay? But you you see the way we are we are living, and we didn't really have any issue coming into this, okay? So. It's not like I didn't even want you in the house because there are some couples, they didn't even see each other when things were well. Because mm -hmm. the husband was going, the wife was going, and just, hello, you understand? There was a lot of issues, but they, are, they were using their work, they were using things to cover up. Buried emotions, okay. that's what yes. uh, Olua Kemi is saying. And which is, yeah, which is good, buried emotions. They were not communicating. Oh, because I was working. If you are cancelled, then they, they have to say, oh, because I'm, I have to go and work and work. Now, all those excuses are no more there. And now, here you are. You wake up in the morning. The first thing you see is your wife. You wake up in the morning. The first thing you are seeing is your husband. And if that communication is not there, now you are trying to start. And starting something, when it's not there, can even cause more issues. You understand? So mm. those are some of the things. You could see that this thing was really kind of underlying tone. And what this situation have done is to expose what is there already. How do we fix it? The word of God. <laughs> <laughs> you know, see, that's what I'm saying. You know, it, it's a it's, it's, it's very interesting thing. And I like what uh, Pastor Barbara said. Mm -hmm. You know, like when you are stressed and when you are depressed, you can't even hear the voice of God. So when you are not really healed emotionally, you know, and I love when you say we need deliverance. We need, some of us need deliverance, surely. Because when you are not, you know, they say hurt people hurt people. When people are emotionally uh, not strong, they cannot help you. Okay, so that's when we have to go back to the word of God. I believe the word of God can heal any emotions. I, I, I so they also believe that this is the time that, and I like the term, um, 
Oluwakemi just used yeah. that buried emotions. Mm -hmm. um, this is the time because you are seeing the clash of personalities. Yeah. And the way um, this country has been structured, mm. husband working different shifts, yeah. wife working different shifts, yeah. our children are being raised by teachers, mm -hmm. TV, yeah. and babysitters and all of that. Mm -hmm. And now everything is shut down. Husband and wife, the family unit is now together. Yeah. And they are supposed to deal with one another. And right. because we're not used to it, mm -hmm. there are hypertensions. We have not been able to learn how to tame you know, our mm -hmm. anger yeah. and emotions and all of that. Mm. So I believe that there have to be practical steps yeah. of one. Managing our own emotions. emotions yeah. You know, two. And I believe that if there's real and true love, and two, there's a genuine and open um, communication mm -hmm. going on. Yeah. It's easy to be able to manage all these things and this frustration. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, so I think these are some of the things that we have to share. You know, there are Christians mm -hmm. who have scriptures yeah. and including even pastors mm -hmm. who don't have these practical ways. You know, because we can all hide under spirituality. I'm mm -hmm. under the anointing. I'm praying. I'm reading my Bible. But how long will you pray? How long will you read your Bible? Right. Okay. You must still face your family. You must still raise your children. Yeah. You must, you know, I was getting frustrated when I have to sit down. And I realized that I lack the patience to sit down with you and bless it. Yeah. And say, oh, you have to do it this way when she's arguing with me and telling me this is not what my teacher mm -hmm. says and all of that. Yeah. But I have to realize and begin to appreciate what teachers go through mm -hmm. to raise and to educate our children to understand concepts yeah. and all of that. Yeah. And I believe that these are some of the things that every person, whether you're a Christian, non-Christian, and this is what is creating and causing all these things. Because like you rightly said, mm -hmm. if I'm scared, I'm stressed out yeah. because I don't know what I'm going to be laid off mm -hmm. or I'm laid off. Yeah. I'm applying for um, unemployment. unemployment. It's not coming. Mm -hmm. uh, they send my federal check and it hasn't landed. <laughs> <laughs> and the landlord is putting pressure on you. Yeah. You are pressured. Yeah. But you need to come to understand that mm. your spouse is not the cause of your problems. That's it. Your husband didn't bring the coronavirus. <laughs> your wife did not bring the coronavirus. Oh my God. And your children certainly did not bring the coronavirus. Yeah. So you can't vent your anger, anger. Okay. on any of these people. Mm -hmm. And when there's genuine and true love, yeah. you cannot come and vent your anger at your spouse mm -hmm. and, and your children. Because sometimes they become the easy, you know, and I like what you said. Go to the park, walk it out, yeah. talk it out. You know, if you want to punch, go punch the air. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can punch the air. Yeah, but, but sweetie, I, I, I wrote here because when I was meditating, I, I, I wrote here, I said that there are five that belong to God only. Mm. Okay. We, we, we have to realize that this fight that we are in, and I, you see, everybody, whether the, the president, the mayors, the governors, um, they are all saying that we are fighting an enemy that we are cannot we cannot see. And this, this we have to know that there are some fight that only God can fight for us. Only God can help us with this thing. Mm. Okay. So I love when you say that it's not your wife who brought the, the virus. It's not your husband who brought it. Neither your children. You know this thing we don't know, but we we know that God can fight for us. So there are some fight we just have to leave it for God. And let's trust God that God will fight it for us and we will go back to a normal thing. So, uh, and uh, Minister Lisa says, mm. yes, it is important to deal with issues as they arise. Okay. Communication is needed to keep each other together. Yeah. And then um, Pastor J. Moba said they camouflage the issues. Yeah. You know, uh, I, I, okay. think, I yeah. think that, okay, and then, yes, Barbara Collins says, yeah. walking together, cooking together, reading That's the good. word and praying together mm -hmm. are good suggestions for believers uh, with a stir, crazy spirit or cabin fever. <laughs> However, 
when there are demons from underlining emotion screaming to have their way only God sure yeah you know so I, 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 that's what we, we we have to know and really take this thing you know to heart and take it easy okay and and I love one bishop was saying that we should not um you know sometimes we when there is real issue we take the the word of god and we take the bible and we cover it you know you are beating your wife and yet you are saying that uh, the, the bible say uh, wife submit no 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 let's let's why why are you beating your wife in the first place you know as a man of god why are you beating your wife in the first place so we cannot use the the the, the word of god and twist it to fix our emotional you know damages and emotional uh, breakages and no 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 we have to face it if you need i, I love i saw my sister put it there pastor uh, nana if you need counseling please go go and seek for counseling don't use the word of god to twist it to your emotional breakages and all those things and oh the, the word of god says it. the word of god says it knowing that the, the word of god said do good the word of god didn't say punch there is no way in the bible that says go and punch you know, you can go to, uh, is it academy? Sports academy. Mm. Go to sports academy. They have some nice boxing punch there. Go and get one for your backyard. And in the morning, go and punch that. But don't punch your family. That's not what the word of God uh, says. So, you know, but I love when Bishop says that, where there is love. So, I've, 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 I wrote it here, you know. Can you imagine? He didn't even know what I'm talking about. But you see. That that is what we do. We we do it together. We we are not punching each other. We are thinking alike. <laughs> so I wrote it that where there is love, there is life. Okay. So where there is love, there is life. Okay. If you love each other, I think this is the time for us to really trust God to really love each other. Okay. Love each other unconditionally because if you love each other you can find life okay and life bring hope hope increase our faith and where there is faith miracle happen and guess what miracles are divine interaction of natural law so god is going to do a miracle for you that will cause natural laws to suspend why because if you if you entertain love it's going to bring life life will bring hope to you to bring hope to your family i'm telling you your family is not going down your family is not going down your family is not going down because some of you you think that this this is the end of life and please stop listening to some 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 pastors and some prophets are also not helping stop listening to them because this is not the world the end of the world. I, yeah, Minister yeah. Diane said, I said, a man, period, man, man of God or man of the devil, keep your hands <laughs> to yourself. Well, uh, women are also uh, beating, so <laughs> you better put the women to should keep their hands to themselves. And then uh, Oluwa Kemi says, where, is, where there is love, there is life. Yes, you know, <clears throat> And I think we should take advantage of these um, and really, for me, I think it's been a bonding time. Yeah. The shutdown has rather been a bonding time. It's been a time to really, even though the teenagers don't want to, they still want their space. I believe that it's been a good time of bonding, doing things together, working together, praying together. You know, but one of the reasons that this thing is going on, mm -hmm. this thing is going on, is the 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 pursuit of materialism ah. and the sense of false security mm -hmm. in what we have and what we don't have yeah. and the the material driven society mm -hmm. we have to get 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 and we use some of these things I, I believe this has really revealed and I like somebody put there that the shutdown has rather exposed yeah. the weaknesses within our systems, yeah. Yeah. in our relationship, mm -hmm. our family unit, our marriage, yeah. 
and our church. So it should be a learning experience for all of us. And I think that instead of becoming more violent, okay, number one, as a Christian, you're not supposed to be violent at all whatsoever. Yeah. Okay. Um, you're not supposed to be violent at home and outside mm. the home. So why should there even be pressure there? And that's why what um, Barbara Collins said makes a lot of sense. Yeah. You cannot allow the devil to come and stay in the house with mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. and be working your emotions yeah. where you are now beginning to turn on each other as a devil. It's, I mean, the devil is the only one mm -hmm. who enjoys to see Christians yeah, fight it. and home it. break apart. Mm -hmm. And God forbid it. And may this not be counted among any of our children. Yeah, it's not, it's, it's, it's not good. It's, it, it's just not good. I really think that we, we can use the season, you know. This, this, you know, I know, I know one thing. If somebody asks me, how do you know? I can't explain. When is this going to happen? I don't know. But there's one thing I know deep inside me. That our awesome God. Is going to bring us through this and you have to de be determined to come out stronger you have to be determined to come out bigger you have to be, be determined to come out better and for me that is my aim okay I want to come out being so much in love with God so much in love with my family, so much in love with everything I do, better in everything I do. That is how it has to be. We, we cannot let this situation break us apart. You know, break us apart. I mean, I've been laughing at my husband. It's like I have gotten him at my corner. And I've been teasing him. I tease him. I, I, I sometimes laugh to my own self. I'll be crying. I, he used to tease me. Now it's my turn. And this, oh, this has given me the opportunity to <laughs> just tease him too, okay? So let's, let's, let's kind of really use this to bring the best out of in us, not the other ones. Let Christ be the center, okay? The center of our life. The, the center of, of what is going on here. Let's look to him. You know, the Bible says that they look up to him and they were not, they were not uh, ashamed. If we look up to God, you won't be ashamed. They look up to him and they will not ashamed. We will not be ashamed. Our family is not going down. Your, your life is not going to end. You are not going to be destroyed. You are not going to be the talk of the town. And if people are going to talk about you, they are going to talk about the goodness of God in your life. This thing will pass. It's, it's not going to be here forever. Okay, it's not going to be here forever. So don't, let's use this, okay, to to think that our life is, is, is over. It's not over. So, sweetie, I, I want to chip in and say yeah. that, uh, see, if the violence is going to stop, mm. and it will not, gen uh, because some people probably may not have, you know, uh, Joe said, including mental abuse. There could be, yes, mental yeah. abuse. Now, yeah. I, I, I think that one, genuine love has to be cultivated. Mm -hmm. And love, as much as we think that it's just emotion, it has to be cultivated. And you have to nurture it. Yes. And I believe that this affords as every couple the opportunity mm -hmm. to nurture and cultivate love, yeah. okay, and work on each other to grow it. Number two, we also have to be extremely patient, wow. extremely. This is the time where every Christian must allow the fruit of the Spirit to, uh, I mean, bear forth in your own life. Mm. Be kind, mm. be peaceful, yeah. be faithful. And be joyful and endurance, long suffering. Yeah. You know, this is where we have to allow the fruit of the spirit to come to bear. And when the fruit of the spirit is in play, our emotions, it helps us to manage our emotions.
to be able to properly, you know, understand our spouse. Mm -hmm. Now, remember, you're not dealing with an enemy, an outsider. Yeah. You're dealing with your own wife mm -hmm. or your own husband yeah. and your own children. So if I can allow the fruit of the spirit to, to bear forth in me mm -hmm. and be patient in listening. Now, a good communicator is a good listener. Yeah. And you don't listen to respond. You listen yeah. to understand before you respond because mm -hmm. if you don't understand what your spouse is communicating then there's going to be a problem mm -hmm. and what's going to be the problem there's going to be a miscommunication and once there's miscommunication mm -hmm. emotions are going to be worked out yeah. and when the emotions are worked out mm -hmm. you have a problem wow wow i hope it has um this has been a blessing you know, to you, I, I would really wanted us to take our time and talk about this. Okay, talk about this. But there's one thing that I want to know. I don't know um, how God is going to change it. I don't know when he's going to change it. But I, I know that he's faithful. Our God is faithful. Our God is faithful. He's good. And he's an awesome father. He have you in mind. You know, a man watching me. I know you have children. You know how this time there is a pressure on you to make sure your children are good. See your Heavenly Father even more and able to do more than you can think or more than you can do. So as you here think about your family, you think God will not think about you? The Bible says that the bears that fly and all those things out there, he even have food for them. He, he think about them, have a place for them to sleep. You think he will not do the same thing to you? He won't. He won't. So just hold on. Just hold on. And take it one day at a time. So thank you so much for joining me. Please continue to uh, share the video. Just go out and be the powerful man and the woman of influence and know that this season didn't come to destroy you. It came to reveal who you really are. And the Bible says that we are the light of this world. This is a time for us, for our light to shine. This is not a time for, for people to be saying, to be in the news, that we are abusing each other and all those things. No, this is the time for the light of, of God in us to shine brighter and brighter. I hope this help. Just, just enjoy Okay, just enjoy all is not lost. God is able. All right, thank you so much. God bless you. And I'll see you here uh, next Tuesday, same time. So, God bless you. Go out and be a blessing. Bye bye.